Does Halo Combat Evolve game mechanics play well in Halo 5? Well, in this video, we'll figure it out. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. In the previous video, we talked about Halo Combat Evolved in 2018, how it plays compared to now. Well, recently, 343 released a playlist called the Anniversary Throwback Playlist featuring Halo Combat Evolved gameplay mechanics. So, figure out what to jump into that, see how Halo 5 handles CE-like mechanics, or if they're gonna try to replicate that gameplay in some other way. So let's jump right into the video here. All right, everyone, looks like we found ourselves a match on Rat Race, which if you remember from my previous video from Halo CE in 2018, it was actually on Rat Race. So this is a Forge remake of it. So let's compare it and how the visuals are. The visuals obviously are actually are probably pretty close to the same, if not a little bit better in the Forge version. Uh, the lighting though, so much better in this version compared to the actual, like the actual version of uh, CE. And I do know that uh, 343 he did mention about the lighting effects and the shadows being a little bit too dark in the MCC version of CE. So definitely looking into fixing that. One thing, oh my god, the hit detection just, it's so snappy in Halo 5. It's so, it's so, it's so spicy. Look at that. Oh, the nice, clean, easy three-shot headshot. Sadly, though, it does look like they kept the Halo 5 mechanics of sprinting and boosting in the game for whatever reason, which kind of, I feel like kind of ruins the entire experience of playing on like a classic map, especially on these maps in general for like CE, like you're not going to have classic movements along with it. I mean, you do that for Halo 3, why not do that for CE as well, you know? So that's a really big shame right there, so it's kind of hard to make a true comparison, obviously. I mean, I, I'm not going to try to sprint around, I don't really like sprinting around too much in Halo 5, I find it to be a little detrimental to you. Um, obviously, I can already tell you that the spawns are a lot better, even though I kind of got popped up right behind right there, sadly, but uh, this is like the spawning logic is just obviously so much better. Of course, the game came out, what, 14 years after CE, so obviously 14 years of uh, refining first person shooter mechanics, you'll be noticing a little bit better improvement on something like spawning. And also, definitely the CE pistol in 5. You can just hold down the trigger and it'll be just as accurate as uh, the C as you would be in your first shot, as you would be if you were saying like in CE, you're tapping, tap firing your shots, trying to be pacing your shots, be a little bit more accurate. Oh my gosh, like I got melted with the CE pistol in here. Such a good gun. I think there's a guy right above us. He's being a little, oh, we got somebody or someone over here. Oh my God, look at that headshot. This, yeah, the hit detection is so snappy in Halo 5 compared to CE. It depends how they wanted to, you know, develop this weapon for the CE Magnum in this game. Now, did they want? I think they kind of developed it with like a, being a power weapon in mind, rather than like another weapon. Obviously, uh, with Halo 5, there's different kind of mechanics compared to CE when it comes to like maintaining player accuracy. Uh, obviously, some of the weapons they have some recoil in this game, where compared to in regular CE, there are basically no weapons with recoil in the game and i uh, you know that this kind of takes into consideration where our ce was kind of one of the first main shooters on a console i mean basically it brought like the halo halo ce brought console gaming into the shooter genre which is why it's such a huge game and why it's such a huge influence now i have no idea how i was getting that guy's headshot but you know whatever and obviously the weapon balancing is tuned to halo 5's core mechanics in this version so it's kind of tough to get like a true sense of what uh the real comparisons are but it's just kind of interesting to see like how like a game like halo 5 but using similar oh my gosh it got popped up right behind me but how like a game like halo 5 tries to adapt in ce mechanics with uh extra lethal weapons higher mobility um, obviously better hit detection, better spawning, better lighting, that's for sure. So that's one thing I wish they kind of had with the CE pistol when it came to Halo 5. Of it having, you know, a little bit more skill to it. Where at least like tap fire, they add spread to this weapon. Because obviously there is no, look at that, there is no recoil to this weapon at all. And so, you definitely want to at least like make it something so like a player who doesn't have a CE Magnum say like in Warzone, because that's kind of what this weapon is really intended for, would have a chance, you know? And I think it also kind of give you that classic CE feel of having to tap fire your Magnum rather than just hold down the trigger and spam. But obviously, like I said, they kind of had, like they had this weapon in mind as a power weapon in Warzone rather than an actual 
true representation of what using the C pistol was like. Oh my god, we got killing spree, boys. You can see right here, one thing we just went through, a teleporter. That's one thing you don't see anymore in Halo 5, mainly because, well, you are the teleporter, basically. When you can do this kind of stuff, fly around the map like that, you don't need a teleporter because your A moves so fast through the map that, you know, things like teleporters were really useful back in classic Halo gameplay because, well, you weren't moving super fast. You, know, you weren't sliding around, boosting, doing crazy extra maneuvers that you, you normally wouldn't, you, know, you obviously couldn't do in classic Halos. Oh, next map we got here, Hang 'em High. A classic, classic map back in the CE days. This is pretty much like the only other map my friends and I would ever play. It's this one and Blood Gulch. So we'll see how this map plays with the crazy, accurate Halo 5 version of the CE Magnum. Oh, well, that's one. We buck around the other side here. Nope, no. Nope. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Get the get the. There should have boost in this game mode, man. I don't think you even need to bother with a sniper rifle on this map because of how accurate the CE pistol is in this game. Now, definitely one thing about this map too is that with the CE pistol in Halo 5, you have to be like a ninja moving around the map because of how accurate this weapon is. That's one thing. It really helped out with um, classic gameplay was the fact that since there was spread in the game that you know you couldn't snipe people across the map like you can on this one so you can see like right now people aren't really fighting for the power weapons obviously someone grabbed the rocket launcher but like you as soon as you move out into the open you're gonna get hit by someone with a C magnum and it's kind of a bit ridiculous right now trying to make move our way through the map because you're gonna get sniped by everyone's you know basic magnum and obviously you know yes the ce magnum was crazy overpowered back in the day but you couldn't beat people like this and so this this version of hang em high in halo 5 it just doesn't play like the classic hang em high did at least in that version you can move around the map i will tell you that it does play a lot faster though <laughs> of how accurate everyone is like the kills are going in you know people are shooting people are dying like it's so much faster Again, I guess like I said, just kind of grant up to the accuracy of the CE pistol in Halo 5. Peekaboo, I'll see you. Oh my God, we're gonna grab the sniper here, boys. Here we go. There we go. See, look, we got a snipe. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> got another one. Oh my gosh, we cannot be stopped right now. So you can see with Hang 'em High in Halo 5's gameplay, I do like with the advanced movements, it actually does work pretty well with Hang 'em High because you can get to move around the map much differently than you used to be able to. But the thing is with the accuracy of the weapons and the lethality of them, it makes it really hard to move just anywhere out somewhere in the open because you're gonna get sniped because those weapons are so lethal and so accurate and the detection is so much improved and honestly a little bit quite a bit easier to get those headshots that it just really changes the gameplay you can kind of see like why uh in the halo 5 maps are kind of elongated like if they're gonna have a true experience to try to simulate the experience of hang em high they definitely need to elongate that map and we have a classic CTF Damnation here. Now this is actually one of the maps I do have to give Bungie credit on because this is a very unique map. Uh, I think this is kind of one of the maps that kind of get put into the final version of a game before uh, like the classic formula of the three lane formula that we now see nowadays for almost every uh, kind of shooter out there. Look at that sniper and camo. Oh my god, we're going to go off here guys. Is that like this map is just so unique and so different to anything else in like any other shooter out there and that's what i think makes damnation such a recognizable map oh gosh oh my gosh oh, look at this right here this teleporter gameplay oh my god that's one thing i think uh, halo really misses is definitely the teleporters now i do feel that like teleporters don't really work out too well when it comes to competitive gameplay so if you're trying to see like an mlg style gameplay you would not see teleporters in it for casual gameplay you can have fun like that right there was just kind of some wacky fun where i thought is uh is probably some of the stuff that's kind of missing with halo 5 i'm gonna sneak into the base here guys they'll never ex expect a sneaky oh shoot never mind i think damnation also has another really good map that, to showcase halo 5's movements like this area right here you can probably just let's slide boost across like that and get an easy kill like in halo C. oh would have not nearly been that easy 
Well, let's get this return here too. Why not? Oh my gosh, we're going off here, guys. I don't mind the advanced movements at all, actually. I think I really enjoy them. And I think 343 has something really special on their hands. I'd really hate to see it completely removed, especially with Infinite coming around the corner. But, um, you know, toned down a little bit, probably. Because, like I said, like the move I just pulled off right there on that guy, going to cross those platforms down below right there. Yeah, probably a little too uh, forgiving on the movements there. All right, how about this? In the comment section down below, guys, leave a comment what you what's something that you guys wish was still in Halo that was definitely something part of uh, the CE experience. I mean, do you miss this Magnum being like the main gun? And also another thing with the C pistol this game, you absolutely need to make sure you have full shields before you get into any form of a gunfight because it will not turn out well for you. There we go, want some more kills, there we go. There we go, let's go another one. Yeah, I like this. He's not even trying to shoot me. How did I not kill that guy? We're gonna come around here, buddy. What's up? I should let anybody get in my room. Here we go. Oh, they gives us the regular flagnum though. I'm gonna try to be a little more sneaky with this one though. I walk back. Oh shoot! How did he spawn right there though? Come on, game! You gotta be kidding! I was trying to clutch it for the team, man. Why are you gonna treat me like that, bro? But anyways, guys, overall, I would say the experience of how 343 has implemented CE gameplay or, you know, mechanic gameplay into Halo 5, I would say it doesn't really play like it. Basically, it's like, let's play Halo 5 with a crazy overpowered power weapon in your hand with uh, some classic CE maps to see what happens. So gunplay, definitely not similar at all. Movements, obviously not the same as well. Uh, so the gunfights and situations you get yourself into, the mobility of the maps, it just completely changed. Uh, probably not for the best, honestly, I would say. Though I will say it, it is fun playing some classic CE maps with Halo 5 movement mechanics. As you can see, like in all playing Damnation, Hang 'em High, even Rat Race, that with the advanced movements, it kind of keeps things moving around a little bit more. And so it kind of, uh, you know, you can do different things and di jump on different ledges that you probably wouldn't ever had been able to do before, which is actually kind of fun. I will say that the spawning is a lot better, that's for sure. Overall, it was fun. Obviously, it kind of like ruins the experience a little bit with the Halo 5 mechanics on the Halo 1 scaled maps. Yeah, it doesn't really work out, but it's a fun variation and just like obviously it's in social. You're not meant to supposed to take it seriously. So it's just kind of a experience CE maps in Halo 5's world and see how it plays out. Um, honestly though, not the best. That's probably why I think this map rotation but last time was actually one of the least played playlists because it just doesn't play out very well. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you think about the anniversary throwback playlist. Are you guys playing it right now? Do you wish it was a permanent playlist? You know, do you think that Halo 5's mechanics transfer well for CE style maps and, you know, weapons? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.